should we be above this drama? Should we be above Elon Musk breaking up with Matt Taibbi, breaking his heart in public and airing their grievances to the world, you know, posting their DMs, their private personal messages on Main? Should we above mocking this? Um, should we be above it? I, I, maybe. I don't particularly care. Here we go. So, <laughs> Elon Musk, in the midst of this feud over Substack, and Matt Taibbi refusing to like give up his actual lucrative... I mean, in this sense, I, I'm sympathetic to Taibbi because, of well, that's too far. But Taibbi is not going to give up his Substack subscribers just because Elon asks him to because he's in a personal blood feud with the Substack founder, which is what he's asking. Yeah, he just suggested, hey, if you want to keep doing it, just post all your stuff on Twitter. Just, just it's it's good experience. Yeah. You're yeah. a good paid in experience. OK, buddy? <laughs> yes. Matt Taibbi, <laughs> would you like an internship with Twitter <laughs> where you can post all of your work? Or you could get, you know, I don't know how many subscribers that dude has on Substack, but he's making minimum You'll six make a figures, bunch of probably seven figures. It'll be a stepping stone to your next thing. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Just don't take the paid gig. Okay? It's the exposure. The, it's the exposure that really matters, not the dollars. You can eat the exposure for dinner. Um, so, gas in your car with exposure. So, right, right, right. <laughs> exposure. Fill, your fill your car up with gas right. with exposure. Right. Exposure run vehicles. All right. Uh, but the, the, like, so, it, Taibi refuses to do that, refuses to leave Substack. Um, and then Elon Musk just posts their private messages like a jilted uh, X on social media. So Elon Musk posted and then deleted his private messages with Matt Taibbi. As you can tell from the screenshots, they were using the secure communications app Signal, which allows users to auto-delete messages on a timer. This could prevent, for instance, congressional oversight of said messages. Although, I don't know who Jay McKenzie is, the guy tweeting this. That's a good thing. I mean, I like that Signal is an app that can where you can communicate. Um, I, I have Signal, yeah, and I've used it to communicate with people before. Um, so I don't that framing is fine for me. Journalists should be able to communicate with their sources um, without any uh, oversight from Congress, in my opinion. But go, but 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 the funny part about this is, is that not that the Congress won't be able to access these messages, but the fact that um, this relationship between Matt Taibbi and Elon Musk was not one that is typical, really, of a source and journalist, given the fact that sources don't typically hold the work that you're giving, that you're, uh, you, your work ransom and say, you have to post this on my platform, which is exactly what happened here. And the reason, you could just take it down for okay. a sec, just to give more context. The reason that Taibbi agreed to do it and post the Twitter files, not on his Substack, but on Twitter, was because it was an advertisement for his Substack. So he could funnel people to his Substack where they would subscribe and then he would post the rest of his work. And now Musk wants him to abandon his Substack, which was the only reason that Taibbi was incentivized to do this stuff for the Twitter files. Not the only reason, but he did want to make money in the end. And here we go. These are the messages. Uh, Taibi complains to him. You're taking down all my Twitter files threads because you're uh, mad at me personally for not leaving the company when I was already employed. Really? really? Question mark. Uh, no, this should not be happening. We'll fix tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you are employed at Substack? Okay. What? First what? of all. What? I, <laughs> what? Well, uh, uh, my, my. I didn't know that. I. <laughs> You are in for he's not employed technically, although we will see something interesting in a second. Elon Musk doesn't have an understanding of what a subscriber or like a Patreon model is. Again, this guy has a 12 year old's brain. Even worse, he changed his name on Twitter the other day to Harry Balls. <laughs> The automatic, tw automatic Twitter PR message is a poop gif. <laughs> When like, when journalists reach out to Twitter for comment, they give they, it, like this this man this man's brain is a ball pit. Here we go. 
So Taibi responds, uh, my subscribers, th uh, they employ me and I have a great thing going there. I also have loyalty to the company, which did originally hire me. That's the that's the T there that he got hired by Substack. It's not just a subscriber model might be interesting when you look at, say, people like, I don't know, Glenn Greenwald promoting Rumble and things like that. Uh, and I moved to Twitter, uh, it would, and if I moved to Twitter, it would be a major optics issue for us both. Us both. Hmm. But this isn't, uh, related to the threads being removed, so uh, this is going to be fixed. I just, like, love how non-combative he is with this guy. He sounds a little afraid of the billionaire. Next message. Um, then he responds, Elon, um, and... Taibi says, I was never a Substack employee. I was one of the first Substack Pro contributors, uh, which is a guaranteed return system for the first year. Just something to note. Like, as we begin to see these new alternative social media models crop up, and they're done on the backs of uh, right-wing IDW influencers in a variety of different spaces, they're are probably a lot of partnerships happening that we don't have full uh, context about, including, I would imagine, a lot of the people there on Rumble. But the feud continues to escalate. And posting private messages and then deleting them, I mean, th this breakup is getting messy. We are talking about a really messy divorce here. Literally days after he goes... I, I I like Elon Musk. Yeah, I, right. I, I, on Mehdi Hassan, do you like him? You like him? This guy has no loyalty. Man, man, he goes, do you want anything to say? What would you like to? I'm giving you the floor. Would you like to criticize him now? Not, no. Not particularly. Actually, I refuse to. <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> like, this is the problem here with trusting a billionaire and why Matt Taibbi, it's proving that his class analysis that was supposedly embedded in his reporting during the financial collapse actually was incredibly thin because like other right wingers, Matt Taibbi doesn't seem to see a problem with billionaires generally. He doesn't seem to see a problem with capitalism generally. He sees a problem with certain billionaires, certain capitalists, certain companies. That's the analysis of a right winger. We've talked about this at length. We just talked about it within the context of, like, the stupid movie, the Super Mario movie that now the right likes because Chris P Pratt is right wing or something. They, they don't have any structural critique. It's all on a case by case basis. Good company, bad company. Why is the company bad? Oh, maybe because a black person leads it. Um, good movie, bad movie. Why is the movie bad? Oh, there's gay people kissing in it. There's a trans person in it. Like, and for Elon Musk and Matt Taibbi's relationship, good billionaire, bad billionaire. The good billionaire is making me some money. And that's what it is. And you know, also, and also I think like the economic incentives that, you, that you're laying out, I think are the most clear cut and like kind of binary in the sense of like, receiving money for journalism like this journalism like this you know re like like re like being, journalism being, quotes, ban yeah. being bankrolled to do this getting more clout for to like to like augment my sub stack now numbers good not getting any of the of those things from said billionaire bad the personal aspect of this i think is a little more complex because it's like to me if you only take that economic incentive at face value and then also don't consider and maybe Taibbi has, or I, I can't. I can't necessarily speak that, but also not consider that because when you're a billionaire, I, I, there is simply no way that you accrue and hold on and hoard that much wealth without one large aspect of what you do and part of your portfolio is screwing people over. Yeah. It's, you can't, it's elemental. It is you elemental to be a billionaire. That wealth. Yes. Right. You cannot get to that point in life without screwing people over. Because and you are taking an enormous yes. amount of wealth at the expense of other people not having it. You are screwing people over. So to trust that person, expect them to always have your best interests at heart, you're not working for them. You're not even working with them. You are a mark. You're a mark. You're a mark for a con and you got con. No, you're a, you are the, it's the scorpion and the frog. At a hundred percent. You, uh, <laughs> the, scorpion, Taibbi, the scorpion can, can stand on my back and it won't kill me. I mean, honestly, it works pretty well for the situation. 
Revolution. Taibi got the scorpion to the other side of the pond. <laughs> right. Taibi got him to, was the effective vehicle to the other side of the of the pond, essentially laundering Elon Musk's uh, free speech, f- false free speech absolutism, and transparency branding when it's really just a lie. Let's pull up that other, that thing about India. Um, to the other side of the pond and got a bunch of right-wingers to buy in when what we are seeing right now is that Twitter is escalating under the leadership of Musk, its censorship efforts in India. Here's a tweet from Sarah McLaughlin. Um, Not the... Is that the same name as the... I will remember yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ASPCA song? Yeah, yeah, that, no, this is Sarah McLaughlin from FIRE, the uh, free speech organization. Yeah, this is... Not na- country singer Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you are not going to be seeing very sad puppy eyes right now. Um, says uh, She tweets, it looks like Twitter is globally withholding a tweet in response to a legal demand in India. Meaning, in India, there is some interest that's desi- that that is saying i would like to censor this article and twitter is not just censoring it within india which would already be a disaster for free speech and they already are doing it's been reported by the intercept and others um with the right wing uh fascist leader in india narendra modi but they're doing it for the rest of the world with this hindu uh uh hindu news article this is a disaster for free speech online indian law dictating social media speech rules globally a worst case scenario for free speech and content moderation. Can you click on that link? Yeah. They're, so it, censoring an article about Twitter's censorship. That's what they're doing here. Cause, cause, uh, free speech warrior. And so this is the... It, it, he, he got stung going to the other side of the pond. But then in the process, he got millions and millions of right-wingers to believe that Elon Musk was the bastion for, for free speech. And also, And also, like... This is obviously this is this is not splitting the atom here in terms of like a comp commentary on what the Twitter files that Taibi, you know, wrote disclosed in something like this. The, in that piece, in that Hindu Times piece, it basically outlines that there was this activist screenshotting either a tweet or a statement from a from a, a minister in India. Mm-hmm. And the guy, the activist was like, I don't even remember what it was even about. I think it speaks to the insidiousness in terms of like that's what's going on where a where a where an autocratic government is has a open line to basically just have to ask for and and receive a blanket um deletion or blanket withholding of a tweet on a platform that is literally designed to disseminate information so i feel like that's a story or that's the story should be but i think the issue with that is that's sanctioned by the head of the company Mm -hmm. that's not that's not being exposed to sort of cast aspersions or cast doubt on a political campaign or a current and the current american administration so it doesn't fall under the same umbrella of what the twitter files should be covering it doesn't it doesn't meet the, it doesn't meet the same standards because as i was saying the, this they're they're in, they're in on the same game they're running the same three card monty game here they're the the the, Mo, the modi government and elon are, are are in lockstep here so that con's fine yeah but trying to get a dick pic of hunter biden gets uh, taken down that's a controversy yeah right exactly i mean which is more consequential to free speech in the world which one which one the leader of one of the largest, most populous nations in the world, working with a major social media company to get criticisms of his government taken off of the social media platform, or the uh, candidate not yet in office saying, hey, just a heads up. this My son's penis is on your website yeah, and that violates the terms of service. Which was stolen from his laptop without permission by a laptop top technician who clearly was a right wing psychopath sent it to some other right wing psychopaths they mined through it i mean honestly what the like i know that people don't have sympathy for hunter biden because of his relative power pos- position but that was a disgusting thing that happened in, in our in, in this a, the, to a person who is like to a person who has struggled who and, is not stable and i, not, yes. I don't even mean that derisively like truly a gay is, a reco- is an addict a recovering addict in, in in the limelight like all the time like extremely scrutinized like it's it was and, and I, in my in my world, I would have I, I believe that those uh, anti revenge porn laws should have been enforced even more aggressively on behalf of censoring some of those pictures of Hunter Biden because they were taken from without his consent. And like you and like you said, like 
this doesn't this doesn't dilute obviously his proximity to power, his ability to get the job, the, be on the board of Barisma, whatever yeah, the case no may be. None, none of none of that obscures the fact that that doesn't mean he should have still been basically used as revenge porn bait to gin up a right wing conspiracy theory. It doesn't it doesn't obviate that. 